When we're back to CapCut, let me show you how we can add this tracking effect to text. Let's assume that this is me, the one in the yellowish jersey. I want to use this clip in a vlog, something. I want to make it obvious that it's me. I use the default layout and then I click on stickers. I've just searched for line, arrow, something like this. I'm going to use that one. Just click on a plus sign. You may have to download it first. I've already done that. And it's in the timeline. Make it as big as your footage. Ons, I'll rotate it. Let me select it again and I scale it down. Or maybe I rotate it in the other direction. There's a little bit more space. So I'll put it here. And this is optional. You don't have to use a sticker. It works on the text alone as well, but I think it looks better. And now I add the text under text, add text defaults. Click on a plus sign, make it as big as my footage. Let me change it to me. I'll put it right here. For now, focus only on the relative size of it compared to the sticker, in our case, the arrow, and then position it accordingly. Let me make that yellowish. You can change the color down here, pick whatever you want. And now when you only have a text, you want to do that as well. But when you have a text and a sticker, left click drag to select both and then right click create a compound clip. And now we can add, for example, the tracking option right here. It's an inbuilt option when I use this motion track. I can adjust the box and this is then going to follow what's inside of the box. In our case, we don't want to scale it up because when the runner is down here, he runs basically towards the camera that would scale up our text and sticker and it will be too big for the frame. So let me turn that off and I even turn off the distance. It's a little bit of a hit and miss, so it's not perfect. You can see in the beginning, it looks kind of good. It follows the runner. But now it loses it. So in the end, it doesn't work anymore. When that happens, you can retrack it or you can just try to do it manually. Let me show you the manual version. We'll go back to the start position and then use none for tracking. And we'll go back to video and then basic. You will want to pick the position. Once again, make sure that you're at the start of your footage and then create a keyframe by clicking on this diamond icon. Then use the arrow keys to the right to go forward like 10 to 15 steps and then reposition that manually with the left click drag in this preview window and this creates new keyframes every time you do that. And you can see I now go through this footage just a couple of seconds. So in this case, we can do that quickly manually I'm using like 14 or 15 frames every time, so I use the right arrow key 14 to 15 times. And here in the end, the runner vanishes. So we'll use a fade out for our text sticker. Under animation out, we can find that. Just left click on it and it's now added. But I want to reposition that outside of the frame, maybe up to here. And now it looks better. You can see the keyframes are generated. Let us check the finished results. And there you go. This is how I can create this text tracking effect in CapCut. I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.